Please enjoy the final interview, bringing our series, A Collection of Masks, to an end. Our guest is again a brilliant playwright, actor, and theatre director, the creator of such shows as Ascension and Labyrinth, Mr. Robert Chardish. Hello? Henry, it's Ella. Ella? Oh, Ella! Hello! Honey, Ella is calling. What do you mean, which Ella? Our Ella! Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> how are you doing? How, how, how's the weather out there in the States? Oh, you know how it is. Win some, lose some, never a dull day. But I'm not calling from the States, I'm here in England. Oh, one could never keep up with you. I'm staying in that yellow hotel. What was his name? Wait, the one here? In Linfield? Yes! I'm back. Actually, I have a small favour to ask. Do you still have a car? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The same old one. Had it for 20 years now. It's the only thing that still works. Could you give me a ride somewhere? To the cemetery? I can show you which grave it is. No. I wanted... Um, I have to check out the theatre. Ah, right. Of course. I can be there in an hour. Would that be all right? Sure, Henry. You are wonderful. It sure brings back memories, doesn't it? So much has happened here. Sometimes too much. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Thank you, but I'd like to be alone for a moment. again, Mr. Chardish. It's hard to believe that this is the end. <coughs> Isn't it? Time flies this fast only in the studio, on the stage, and with Sinatra. It does indeed. Let me explain to the listeners who have missed the previous auditions that we've been meeting to talk about the major plays Mr. Chardish directed over the last 30 years, from the last one to the very first one, as well as about art in general and the bohemian lifestyle. As long as I uh, manage to stay on track. <laughs> Today our time travel takes us back to a theater in the village named Lindfield, the first stage you had to command by yourself. Before we start talking about art, let me ask, how are you feeling? Well, I guess I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Given the circumstances, I, I feel undefeated and the, mm. the prognosis is rather optimistic as well. Oh, surely a lot of pe people signed for relief of me just now. 